Considering it's something that we all put into ourselves, it's kind of crazy how little we know about a lot of the foods that we put into our bodies. Don't believe us? Just watch this. These are 20 foods you'll never buy again after knowing how they're made. Number 20. Sour Candies When you feel like having a bit of fun with your food, you might reach for a packet of sour candy to give your taste buds a bit of a pick-me-up. After all, you can't quite beat the zing of a delicious citrus candy hitting your tongue. But you'll never eat this candy again after knowing how it's made. The majority of sour candy products you purchase have been made with fruit-based mixtures that have undergone heating and cooling for the preferred hardness and softness. They also feature a combination of organic acids like citric acid, malic acid, fumaric acid, ascorbic acid, and tartaric acid. That's a lot of acid for a single piece of candy. These acids all play a part in the taste sensation you experience with each piece of candy you eat. For example, the citric acid activates the sour taste receptors on your tongue, while the malic acid keeps the sourness lingering even once you've swallowed your treat. Sour candy also features sugar, fruit, palm oil, corn syrup, and sometimes gelatin if the sour candy you choose is a gummy or jelly. Now, here's the real kicker. Sour candy is one of the newest players in the game because manufacturers were worried about spooking their consumers. Some cheap candies manufactured during the 19th century used to contain harmful chemicals and were made in some pretty terrible conditions. So the more trusted manufacturers didn't want to create anything too out there in case consumers thought their products were unsafe. Like this video, smash the subscribe button and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the odd topic. Let's talk about Lucas Candy. You'll never eat this candy again after knowing how it's made. Why? Because it has lead in it. Now, you may think that's probably an accident they just didn't know, but guess what? The Register investigation found that state and federal regulators knew for more than a decade that the making process for this candy results in it containing lead. And they did nothing to tell the public. They did nothing to remove it from the stores. Simply put, do not eat this stuff. As always, let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below using the hashtag oddtopic. Number 19. Vanilla Flavoring The next time you tuck into a vanilla-flavored cupcake, you won't be able to help but think about beaver butts. That seems a bit random and absurd, right? But allow me to explain. Beavers have castor sacs between their pelvis and the base of their tail that produce a goo called castorium. This goo features castor gland secretions, anal gland secretions, and urine, and they use this brown slime to mark their territory. While the anal secretions of most animals stink, the beaver's bark and leaf diet actually make the goo smell quite pleasant with a musky vanilla scent. And somehow, someone was brave enough to come up with the idea of using it in food. That's right, some of the vanilla-flavored food you might eat contains beaver goo, and the FDA lists it as generally regarded as safe. It can't be all bad since it's been used in food and perfumes extensively for over 80 years. Fortunately, anal gland milking isn't the most cost-effective or desirable practice, so only about 292 pounds of the stuff is extracted annually. Many manufacturers choose to use synthetic vanilla instead. But you likely won't even know if you're eating beaver goop, even if you are, since manufacturers will generally list castorium as natural flavoring. Yeah, real natural. Number 18. Black Ivory Coffee Many millions of people can't get ready for the day without first guzzling back a hot, fresh, strong cup of coffee. But you might be more inclined to say no thanks when you learn how one particular type of coffee is made. Black Ivory Coffee is produced with coffee cherries that our good friends, the elephants, have naturally refined. Thai elephants in Surin, Thailand are tasked with the delicious job of eating the cherries that have been picked from high altitudes and mixed with their favorite foods like banana, tamarind, and rice. Once eaten, it's a waiting game. Within 72 hours, elephant caregivers hand-pick the cherries out of the fresh elephant poop, and they are then taken to local schools where students are paid to wash them, rake them, and dry them in the sun. Once a certain amount of moisture is removed from the coffee cherries, they are hulled, sorted, roasted, and packed in one-way valve bags for freshness. You can then purchase a bag of black ivory coffee, which can cost significantly more than most other coffee types, and brew your very own cup of elephant poop coffee. What a way to start the day. Number 17. Red Food 
The very thought of eating bugs might make you shudder, but that's pretty much the reality if you eat any food colored with red dye. The next time you devour that red velvet cake, you'll be thinking about cochineal bugs. Carmen, a red to pink dye also known as cochineal extract, natural red 4, and E120, is actually a female cochineal bug. These slate bugs eat prickly pears in Mexico, the United States, and Spain, and contain a unique red dye that's not visible when looking at them. Instead, they have a gray exterior with a white powder coating that protects them from the desert sun and predators. They tend to burrow into prickly pear plants, so the easiest way to harvest them is by cutting the prickly pear pads, transporting them to factories, and pulling the bugs off for processing. And by process, we mean dry them in the sun, smash them up, and mix them with an acidic alcohol solution or borax. The resultant dye is red, but the same bugs can also be used to make pink, purple, scarlet, and a range of other colors. But it's not easy easy work. Around 70,000 cochineal bugs are required for just one pound of red dye, which is why manufacturers started making more cost-effective synthetic dyes in the 19th century. However, as reports of synthetic red dye being linked to cancer came to light and we began to take more interest in natural foods, Carmen returned to the spotlight. So many of us are back to eating bugs. Number 16. Kazu Martsu. Have you ever looked at someone like they were insane when they said they didn't like cheese? I mean, who doesn't love cheese? That's impossible. Well, I thought the same until I learned about Kazu Martsu. And if you happen to like this cheese, then you're the insane one. Kazu Martsu literally means rotten or putrid cheese in Sardinian. And I don't know if I need to say any more than that. Kazu Martsu is sheep milk cheese with live insect larvae, and it's a pecorino derived cheese that cheesemongers take far, far beyond the average fermentation stage until the cheese is literally decomposing. This process is caused by the digestive actions of cheese fly larvae, which are deliberately introduced to the cheese to break down its fat. Once this process happens, the cheese is soft and even a bit liquidy. That sounds kind of delicious, but look closer and you'll spot huge, translucent worms wriggling around inside. Cheesemongers start the process by leaving the pecorino cheese outside with a section of the rind removed to let the cheese fly in to lay eggs. Female cheese flies can lay more than 500 eggs at a time, and when they hatch, they start eating through the cheese. And get this, locals believe the cheese is only unsafe to eat when the maggots have died. Most people brave enough to eat this cheese will slice it into thin strips and eat it on moistened Sardinian flatbread with a strong red wine. If you think you're brave enough to try this cheese, you might be out of luck. EU food hygiene health regulations have outlawed the cheese, and it tends to only be available on the black market. Number 15. Fugu Pufferfish, also known as fugu, contains so much tetrodotoxin, a poison, that it's 1,200 times more deadly than cyanide. It would only take a mere pinhead volume for you to be away meeting your maker. So naturally, you might assume that we leave these fish alone in the dark depths of the ocean where they belong. But no, humans aren't all that bright, so we eat them. The pufferfish is prepared as sashimi and nabe mono, and qualified chefs who have undergone a rigorous training are tasked with the job of removing all the toxic parts of the fish to avoid killing their customers. As you might imagine, the preparation of this fish in restaurants is strictly controlled, but it's still one of the most celebrated dishes in Japanese cuisine. Knowing that only the best chefs in the industry can prepare this fish, and it's widely available in Japan, you might think you're pretty safe in ordering it from the menu, but you might want to think twice. Every year, deaths and severe illnesses are reported around the world due to the consumption of puffer fish. According to the Tokyo Bureau of Social Welfare and Public Health, there are dozens of fugu poisoning incidents each year, and between 1996 and 2006, the fatality rate was about 6.8%. Number 14. Gelatin The next time you satisfy your sweet tooth with a gummy candy, add a marshmallow to your hot chocolate, or tuck into a delicious winter soup, take a moment to think about the ingredient they all share in common. It's gelatin, and you might be shocked by what it's made of. Gelatin is made from the leftover bits from the meat industry that would otherwise go to waste. So basically, this yellowish, nearly tasteless, odorless substance features bones, horns, cartilage, and skin that have been boiled down over an extended period. When you boil these bits and pieces, gelatin is dissolved into the water to create the product we use for soups, broths, confectionery, cosmetics, and much more. It was first discovered in 1682 by Frenchman Denis Papin, who researched the subject and found the best way to create 
it was by boiling animal bones to remove the glutinous material. I wouldn't blame you for being put off by this information, but you'll be pleased to know that vegan-friendly alternatives exist. Agar agar is a type of seaweed often used as a gelatin replacement and is vegan and vegetarian friendly. Number 13. Margarine with the price of butter skyrocketing and the cost of margarine remaining relatively low, it's understandable that more people would be popping the cheaper option in their shopping cart to use for cooking, baking, and sandwich spreading. After all, aside from its price, it's quite a versatile ingredient that's easy to spread and doesn't taste too awful. But honestly, you might be more inclined to stick with real butter after learning more about margarine. First of all, most kinds of margarine have a vegetable oil base, and vegetable oils are high in polyunsaturated fats, also known as PUFAs, which are bad fats. They are also high in omega-6 PUFAs, which high consumption of can be linked to severe illnesses like diabetes, obesity, and cardiovascular disease. Margarine is also low in good fat and high in trans fat, which is man-made fatty acids created during the hydrogenation process. Let's also not forget that many vegetable oil plant crops like sunflower and soybean are genetically modified to be pest resistant, and most of us would definitely say no to consuming glyphosate. With very little nutritional value and extra B BHT preservatives added for a longer shelf life, there are definitely more reasons to avoid this product than use it. Number 12. Raw Oysters Eating raw oysters can make you feel a little bit fancy. They are offered at some of the best seafood restaurants and cost a pretty penny. But did you know that they can also cost you your life if you end up with a bad batch? Eating raw oysters and even undercooked seafood can put you at risk of serious infections such as vibriosis caused by the Vibrio bacteria. This bacteria is present in the same waters as oysters and can end up in the tissues of oysters since they feed by filtering the water. And the life cycle of that bacteria doesn't end there if those oysters are taken from the water and eaten by people. Humans can become incredibly sick with bloodstream infections, blistering skin lesions, diarrhea, and vomiting. Some people end up with such severe infections that they can require intensive care and even limb amputations. According to the CDC, up to 30% of vibriosis infections can be fatal. Most cases of this illness are reported during the warmer months of the year, but the bacteria can affect you year-round. Oysters carrying the bacteria also look, smell, and taste no different from any other, making it impossible to tell whether your raw oyster is safe to eat. Number 11. Peanut Butter Unless you're allergic to peanuts, you've likely enjoyed feasting on a delicious peanut butter sandwich for lunch or treated yourself to a peanut butter cup as a tasty snack. But you might be second-guessing your snack and meal choices when you learn about the bad and ugly side of peanut butter. Peanut butter contains aflatoxins that the Aspergillus fungus family produces. Like corn and cottonseed, peanuts are incredibly susceptible to this soil fungus while in storage. And while our livers metabolize the aflatoxins, they can become carcinogenic at high doses. And that's not even all you need to know before devouring your next PB&J sandwich. The average jar of peanut butter contains natural contaminants, and there can be as many as 30 or more pieces of insects and one or more rat hair for every 100 grams of peanut butter. Fortunately, there are ways to avoid being exposed to these niggly little issues. You can make your own peanut butter using two cups of shelled, raw, roasted, organic peanuts. Chop them up in a blender and add two tablespoons of coconut oil before blending the two ingredients together. You might also like to add some Himalayan salt for taste. Number 10. Kofi Lewick Coffee if it wasn't weird that we can buy coffee pooped out by elephants, we can also buy coffee made from the poop of the Luwak, a cat-like critter from Indonesia. The coffee is called Kopi Luwak, and it consists of partially digested coffee cherries eaten and defecated by Asian palm civets. As they pass through the civets' intestines, they are fermented, and people will then sift through the poop to take out the cherries and turn them into coffee. Most people would likely say you'd have to pay them to try coffee made from what is essentially cat poop, but it's the other way around. Just one kilogram of wild collected beans will set you back about $1,300. Unfortunately, humans can be greedy, and while the wild collected beans aren't harming the civets, the farmed beans are. In countries where animal cruelty doesn't bother too many people, civets are kept in battery cages and force-fed cherries to produce Kopi Lewick coffee. They have high mortality rates and often live in isolation in small cages with poor diets. Farmed beans from such civets cost around $100 per kilogram. Number 9. Chili Pepper 
Many people were sworn off dried chilies for good when a horrific clip was uploaded to Reddit showing the goods in question. In the footage, you could see employees running their pitchforks through a massive haul of chilies drying in the sun. There's nothing out of the ordinary there, right? That is, until you see dozens of rats scurrying through the pile of said chilies before burrowing themselves out of sight once more. In the background, you can also see workers bagging up the chilies for transport. Where they end up after that? Probably in your pantry. Now, the location of the footage is known, but most people who watched the video were pretty disgusted. Unfortunately, nothing stopping you from growing and drying your own chilies to avoid such horrors. You can purchase chili plants as seeds or seedlings and use one of two popular drying methods, air drying or oven drying. If you choose to air dry your chilies, you can thread them at their stems on a piece of string spaced apart and hang them in a dry, airy, and warm place inside or outside your home. Alternatively, you can dry them in a domestic oven by lining them up on a non-stick baking tray and placing them in the oven on the lowest setting. You just need to remember to turn them every hour or so to stop them from sticking. Number 8. Tuna Tuna is one of those versatile ingredients that most people have a can of in their pantry. It's delicious on crackers, in sandwiches, and as the main ingredient in pies and other main meals. But it's probably not as good for you as you might think. But sure, tuna is rich in iron, phosphorus, selenium, and many vitamins and minerals, but it can also contain high levels of metals like tin, lead, mercury, arsenic, and cadmium. These metals can interfere with your metabolic processes and organ function. You might even be at a risk of metal poisoning, which presents with symptoms like loss of balance, fatigue, reduced concentration, sore joints, and digestive distress. Studies have shown that many fish around the world contain high levels of mercury due to living in polluted environments. But even more recent reports involving 15 popular canned tuna brands show that tuna can also contain arsenic and cadmium alongside those high levels of mercury. But experts are actually telling us not to panic. Doctors say that fish is good for us and the risks for mercury are overhyped. They've also said that it's all about balance and that all foods should be consumed in moderation. Number 7. Sausages and Hot Dogs you can't go to a sports game without lining up with all the other fans to buy a hot dog or sausage in a bun. It's a nice sweet treat, and a cheap one at that. But health professionals aren't impressed, and I guess we shouldn't be either. Pork hot dogs can contain a whopping 620 grams of sodium, 18 grams of fat, and 204 calories. And that's before you even consider the bun and condiments like mustard, ketchup, and relish. As hot dogs contain processed meat, you might also be at an increased risk of health problems like cancer, cardiovascular diseases, and diabetes if you include them as part of your regular diet. And the studies are pretty alarming, to be honest. After analyzing the diets of 1,660 people, researchers discovered that the bladder cancer risk went up with the more processed meats people ate. A 2015 study also revealed that you were more likely to get type 2 diabetes as a consumer of processed foods compared to red meat. There's a long list of reasons why eating hot dogs isn't a good idea, like their questionable ingredients, high saturated fat, and contamination risk. For some reason, hot dogs are continuously being recalled for strange things like bone fragments, metal shards, and listeria. Number 6. Potato Chips Potato chips are very Moorish. Most of us would probably consume the daily recommended serving size just while standing in front of the pantry deciding if we even want potato chips as a snack. As delicious as they are, the average potato chip brand is far from nutritious. A standard serving size of one ounce has around 149 calories, one gram of saturated fat, nine and a half grams of fat, and 15 grams of carbs. You likely won't experience too many adverse health effects by eating them on the odd occasion, but it pays not to make a habit out of it. They are high in salt, high in fat, and how they are cooked might even create harmful byproducts. This is because when starchy foods are cooked at high temperatures, they make a molecule called acrylamide, which can accumulate in the body and put you at a higher risk of certain diseases. Fortunately, manufacturers are listening to the most health-conscious consumers among us and are coming up with tasty but healthier alternatives. We can now purchase beetroot and sweet potato chips, and you can also buy chips that have been baked, not fried, and with lower fat and salt content. Number 5. Doritos 
The very sight of Doritos probably makes you drool a little. These corn chips are a taste sensation and are delicious on their own or when paired with taco and nacho ingredients. But before you rip open a bag and get stuck in, it's essential to know how they're made and what you're actually eating. First of all, a few internet sources state that Doritos use genetically modified corn. Now, we're not sure if that's the truth, but if it is, it's worth being aware of that. GMOs have been linked to inflammation, digestive disorders, allergies, and more. Some sources also report that Doritos contain MSG and a range of hydrogenated oils and dyes that might be harmful to your health. Then there's the high salt and fat content. Sure, salt and fat can make food extra delicious, but it can also wreak havoc on your health when not consumed in moderation. But consuming something so Moorish in moderation is hard. Doritos have a complex aroma profile, which means you don't get sensory burnout since you're not able to pick up the exact same flavor profile with each chip. Most people wouldn't let you pry their Doritos from their cold, dead hands, but maybe keep this info in mind before you sit down to eat a whole family-sized bag on your own. Number 4. Chewing Gum the laws in many countries dictate that most chewing gum brands don't have to disclose the ingredients in their products. We could be chewing on any number of awful ingredients and we wouldn't even know it. And sorry to tell you, but you do chew some pretty awful ingredients. The average stick of gum contains a gum base, sweeteners, flavors, and softeners. The gum base used to be primarily natural with ingredients like food grade agar, natural resin, and latex sap from the sapodilla tree. But thanks to rubber synthesis technology, many manufacturers use synthetic rubber components like synthetic resin, polyvinyl acetate, and polyethylene. Most softeners feature vegetable oil and glycerin, and sweeteners are generally corn syrup, sorbitol, mannitol, xylitol, and similar. But before you say no to gum altogether, it's important to think about the many advantages of this product as well. For example, some have medical functions and drugs mixed in with the gum ingredients to help people. You can purchase chewy analgesics and antacids, and even chewy caffeine for alertness. You can even buy specific gum types to help prevent dental cavities and give up smoking. So it's not all doom and gloom on the gum front. Number 3. Ice Cream if you've ever made ice cream at home, you might have wondered why your homemade version is rock solid and crystallized, but the commercial stuff you buy from the grocery store is a thousand out of ten for scoopability. It comes down to one pretty odd ingredient, propylene glycol, which you'll also find in antifreeze products for your car. So basically, you could almost say that you're eating antifreeze. Okay, we're being a little bit dramatic, because it's not like they're just sneaking it in there under the noses of the FDA. It has clearly been classed as safe enough to feed to humans, but that doesn't mean it's not at least a little bit concerning. Propylene glycol has been known to cause allergic reactions, rashes, kidney and liver toxicity in larger doses, and low heart rates and blood pressure. Some people have also experienced seizures, convulsions, and neurological problems after consuming propylene glycol. Alongside ice cream, this tricky little ingredient can also be found in dairy products, candy, popcorn, soft drinks, and fast food, just to name a few. Even your average loaf of bread might contain it. Number 2 herbs and spices. As you shake your herb or spice container over your roast meat or include a hearty dose of cinnamon in your baked goods, think about what else you're putting on your food. It's not just herbs and spices. It could also be insect parts, rodent hairs, mites, and bits of feathers, just to name a few. Nothing like a bit of extra fiber, right? A three-year national retail market survey was carried out to determine the sanitary quality of ground cinnamon, ground nutmeg, and ground and unground oregano. The findings were pretty surprising. Chemists identified insect fragments, rodent hair fragments, feather barbules, thrips, aphids, and mites. The most commonly found fragments were from insects, with up to 97.5 of the unground and ground oregano containing insect fragments. Ground cinnamon can also contain up to about 400 insect parts per 50 grams, while there are about 1,175 insect parts in just 10 grams of ground marjoram. And what about rodent poop? Well, there's also plenty of that. You'll find about 3 milligrams of mammal poop per pound of fennel seeds, ginger, and mace. And probably not surprisingly, you have to learn about the different types of coffee, most cocoa beans have at least 10 milligrams of poop per pound. And this is all A-OK -okay by the FDA. Number 1. Coal Tar Dyes 
Most of us don't think twice about what gives our food, clothing, and cosmetics their colors. We just buy them, use them, and move on with our lives. But what if I was to tell you that some pretty harmful ingredients are being used to give your everyday products their beautiful shades? Coal tar dyes are a byproduct of hydrocarbon solvents used to dilute bituminous coal used in the steelmaking process. Many wonderful colors are produced when the hydrocarbon solvents are used to dilute the coal. Most of these dyes are considered unsafe for food, but they're still used in cosmetics and some processed foods like candy. How much of your lipstick do you think ends up in your mouth? Probably a lot more than you realize. Coal tar dyes contain heavy metal additives, and if you were to consume enough of these over your lifetime, you might be at an increased risk of brain diseases like Alzheimer's. There are also studies to suggest that any coal tar dyes used in food have the potential to impede your concentration levels. Other studies even went so far as to conclude that cutting out foods known to contain these dyes might help reduce the symptoms of ADHD. Who knew that you could drink coffee passed through poop or eat food made with bugs? I'll be thinking twice before eating red candy, that's for sure. Have you ever stopped eating a particular food after finding out how it was manufactured or made in nature? Let us know in the comments. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.